What is up everyone? Hope you're doing well, staying safe, staying healthy, and of course, staying awesome. In this video, we're going to be talking about my injury and how I'm going to be moving forward in the future. So without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? So, for those of you who don't know, um, since March of 2021, I've had a very small... I don't even know if I should call it an injury, but a small issue in the gym. And for the most part, when I raise my left arm, on the way up, it clicks three times. Now, like I said, I've had this since March. I never really thought of anything of it. And I was telling people and they're like, oh, it's just air pockets, whatnot. You know, just... uh. It's uh, what, what's what's a common thing that they would say in the Wild West? Oh, just chew some berries, you'll get rid of it. So something like that, you know, not nothing really to worry about. You know, it's just it's just growing pains. So and a lot of a lot of that was connected to at the time. Um, I just got off of my diet mindset um, as of as of January. I was really into um, compound movements, uh, deadlift. Uh, uh, deadlifts, shoulder presses, rows, and bench presses. So a lot of it was about moving a lot of weight in these in these uh, these types of ways that were somewhat foreign to me. Now, mind you, I was doing them at the time what I thought was controlled with good form and with moderate amount of weight you know i was slowly progressing the weight over time every every week or so increasing the weight as you should when you're trying to progressively overload the muscle however at some point with the shoulder press i guess i used too much weight and maybe my form wasn't right even though it was on a machine which i don't know how that happens but sometimes machines can go against you something happened um i could still lift my arm you know it doesn't affect me in everyday uh situations but it's it's only when i'm lifting um shoulder press motion or a row and so currently i'm in physical therapy for it and for the most part, what they've said at physical therapy is the labium, which is the shoulder joint of the of the shoulder, <laughs> the labium, which is the shoulder joint ball, um, it's con it's connected through all these muscles and everything, and basically, maybe that clicking is through to uh, the strength of the surrounding area isn't up to par compared to the other side, so. The solution is they're trying to strengthen all the muscles. So I'm doing all these exercises. And what happened was what really made me um, go to the doctor to, to initially get it checked out was I was doing some lateral raises and all of a sudden this pins, this hot pin needle pain shot down where my left shoulder blade was. And I was like, all right, I gotta go to the doctor. This is bad. And from that moment on, I was like, all right, you have to start listening to your body, especially with something as critical as the shoulder. Because if you think about it, this is this is one of the most intricate um, joint areas, let's say, of the body. There's so much stuff going on. If you look at like a, uh, um, a doctor picture, a, a, a medical photo of the shoulder joint, I don't, it looks like a highway of, of muscle tendons. Like, that's how complex it is. So, hopefully, um, through the process of physical therapy, which is about six weeks, uh, I can get back to what I was originally trying to do and just increase muscle uh, mass over time, lift heavier weights, and move forward. Um, I will say this, though, that having this setback it really does affect your morale 
it really has affected my morale. You know, I was such, I was making such great progress. I was lifting heavier at, with the deadlift. Um, I was li lifting my slowly increasing my weight on the shoulder press. Uh, rows, anything back related is, is is my bread and butter. I love rows. I love deadlifts, and that that's what I really liked. So having to take a really big step back and reevaluating what's going on with my shoulder, what's really happening inside my body in terms of why is it hurting, um, is really, I would say, demoralizing. It really affects you in the sense that all this progress I made now has to be halted. And I told the doctor straight up, I was like, Doc, I like going to the gym. Please, I want to fix this so we can move forward, so I can move forward in the gym. And that's as simple as it gets. You know, I, me personally, I love going to the gym. You know, uh, I'm very, I'm very <laughs> friendly with the regulars that go there. They come to me, I, I go to them, I say, hey, what's up? But I just love the experience of going to the gym, working, going to the gym and working on yourself and being the best person that you can be, um, trying, to better yourself, uh, working your muscles, whatever. But just the act of going to the gym and trying to better yourself is what I really like. Um, and having to take that step back is what really bothers me. But I would have rather taken a step back now than continuing forward and possibly hurting myself even more and needing to get surgery and causing an even bigger setback. So to me, it's not as a big of a deal as it could have been. And the other thing is, I'm still going to the gym actively and I'm gonna uh, tag a video or tag a, um, a YouTube personality that you guys might know, Noel, Noel uh, Diesel, I think his name is, that he also had a shoulder issue and like he said, train legs every day, do what you can do and move forward it's not the end of the world make this setback a comeback i really like that part of it and so that's what i've been doing i've been going to the gym really lowering the weights focusing on the form of the exercises that i'm performing uh, i've been hitting legs a lot more which is great uh, <laughs> my legs are really coming together and so yeah it's just it's been really um I guess the word would be humbling. It's really humbling to have a setback in your life, reevaluate what you've been doing, and then move up, move forward with it, and hopefully for the better. So that's what I've been dealing with for the past couple months in terms of uh, my gym experience, my personal growth in the gym, and I just wanted to share this guy. I just wanted to share it with you guys. Is hope you know hopefully hopefully not but hopefully maybe you guys are experiencing something along those terms and you're feeling that same way of having a major setback in your life to move forward so yeah if you like this video guys definitely uh, leave a comment below think about subscribing and thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one take care all right